Hi, it's Lynn with Soft Squares. I have a box from the Ginger Quilter. These boxes came really close together because she had some delays in her October, or sorry, in the September box coming. So October came like within a couple of weeks of the other one. So I'm curious what's in here. I wasn't expecting it yet and can't say I'm disappointed. All right, so let's see what's in there. So this is my second time getting this box and these boxes are product or sorry project based type boxes so my understanding is she's going to put things in there that um, are a product project let's start over all right so here we are the ginger quilter her little pamphlet it says let's see here yep don't have my reading glasses handy <laughs> surprise okay in all things give thanks so it looks like she puts a little thank you or oh, that's actually her little card for the month that is really cute okay follows the best time of year hands down I'm so glad to send both Halloween box and an autumn box because I can't get enough of this season while you're sewing I hope you put on a cozy sweater and watch a happy movie this is a proper way to celebrate the season so we've got acorn love by Lori Holt that is the fabric. Where's that the name of the pattern? I think that's the pattern. Yeah, that's the pattern. Acorn Love. Cool, it's a table runner. I think you can also get a quilt out of that. Maybe this project is just a table runner, but that can definitely be converted if needed. All right, so we also have Charm Pack by Corey Yoder. Oh, there's all kinds of things in this box. All right, so this one's called Cozy Up. And here we go. Let's see if I can do this today. Pretty. Really, really pretty. Really fall but yeah modern ish um, I like I like this a lot okay so that's what that is and I can see that being able to work with that pattern really well although I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it or not all right now we have a diagonal seam tape there's a lot of stuff in this box and that's this so this is how you can mark, said, add this to your the back of your quilting tricks and hacks. To, <laughs> yeah, that's what she's wrote. Just place this tape on your sewing machine and you'll get the perfect diagonal seams every time. This will be very helpful while you sew your acorns in this pattern. So I have something on my machine, if you've seen any of my tutorials where I'm sewing, which is the Steady Betty, and the main thing I'm looking for is that center seam. Well, that's exactly what this is, plus it has the uh, quarter inch seams on both sides. This will be more practical, I think, and I like it. Okay. We also have Farm Fall House Candle. Oh, she really did put a candle in there. <laughs> it is handcrafted fall farmhouse number five. Oh, I wish I could put my finger on what this smells like. It smells like winter or fall. It smells like a little, like a light hint of some pumpkin spice, maybe. It's not super strong, but it is definitely like a cozy type feel. Let's see what it says in here. Fall's the time of year I pull out all my candles and keep them burning. I just love the coziness and warmth it adds to my house and my attitude. So this doesn't say, I like it and maybe they're all different flavors in all the different boxes. We also get chocolate covered Oreos. <laughs> treats, I like treats. So these are from Sweet Pete's. Nice little treat. I don't know what else to say about this little cookie, <laughs> but yum. <laughs> Reading her notes here. Okay. We also have some extra things that I didn't see on here. Uh, yeah, 
there's some things that aren't even mentioned. Quite a few things. So what I do see is some more fabric. Okay, so it looks like we have probably everything we need for this project, which is what she normally does. That's cute. So this looks like a yard of fabric, at least. Let's see. Nope, it's a yard. It's a yard, like an off-white. And then a little bit of brown. And that looks like about an eighth of a yard or a quarter of a yard. So it says you need a fourth of a yard contrasting for the acorn top. It's all these little browns. You need 40 fall colored five inch squares, which is what this is. You need one yard of background, which is that one right there. And then you need your binding and your backing. And the backing is one and three eighths and the binding is one half yard. So yeah, it's all here. Hmm. I actually think I might make this one like tomorrow. We'll see. Okay. So there's even more. There's even these. What these are, this is by Missouri Star and they are little fall pins, flat pins. And I'm pretty sure you can't see if I go closer and the glare is pretty bad. I've seen these in all different, I have some of uh, um, uh, Tulip Pink, they're little flamingos I think is what they are. Um, these are just pretty, really pretty, cute little gift. I might re-gift these. Anyway, I like that. So that's what came in here. So we got all kinds of things, all kinds of fabric. We got the project, the uh, tape to help us with the project. We got the pattern. Okay, so here's our order stuff. I'll probably post a picture of everything all together. So here's all the fabric and the pattern. Pins, diagonal seam tape, cookies, and a candle. She really puts a lot into these boxes. I like them. And I'm going off top of my head. I think they're $55 a month. And I'm thinking that it's worth it. I, I love that it's just all here and it's really cute. So let me know what you think. Um, if anyone else makes these, post them. Let me see what they look like. And I'm curious to know if everyone's getting the same candle. This one just says number five and it smells really, really, really good, but it doesn't tell me um, enough about what the scents might be. So if you know what the scents are, <laughs> also tell me that, but that's it. So again, this is the Ginger Quilter. And I'll put the link below for her website so you can sign up or look into that if you'd like to. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.